Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this session is about poverty and equity. Because I'm an astronomer, I'm going to start off with a short cosmic vignette. We're all familiar with the iconic picture of the Earth seen from space. We've had that image for 40 years. But suppose some alien had been watching the Earth for its entire history of four and a half billion years. What would they have seen? For most of that time, things would have changed very slowly. Ice ages would have come and gone, species evolved and become extinct, continents drifted. But then suddenly, things would have started to change much faster as humans came on the scene. And after 45 million centuries, in just one century, the aliens would have observed that the vegetation patterns changed drastically, the earth literally became light during the night, and the carbon dioxide concentration began to rise enormously fast. Well, the aliens would have known that the earth was doomed in a few billion years more when the sun flares up and dies, but would they have predicted this sudden spasm halfway through the Earth's life? And if they watch for another century, what will they see? Will this spasm be followed by silence, or will the Earth settle down sustainably? And as we all know, which of those scenarios happens depends on the dominant species, namely us. What they would not be so easily able to see from space is that within uh, the surface of the Earth, there are big divisions, especially between North and South. And the focus of this session is on the poorest and most disadvantaged people, those who Paul Collier terms the bottom billion. They are the people who are most vulnerable to disease, shortage of food and energy, and their problems are aggravated by climate change. And the purpose of this session is to address these issues, and particularly how science and technology can help. And we start off, as in the session yesterday, with two framing presentations by members of the IASA staff. And the first is going to be given by Shanali Pachuri, who will talk about inequalities, particularly with reference to energy. So can I invite Shanali to give her presentation? Thank you. 